YouTube or other styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky. Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup by Mama G. I was tagged by Kit and Caboodle. I can't remember the rest of her name right now. Oh my god, I'm horrible. So anyways, um, she tagged me for the five random facts. And I have done the five random facts before, but just because I love her so much and I love all her videos, I'm going to do her tag. So this is going to be five random facts number two. So, fact number one. Um, I first started wearing makeup when I was in seventh grade. And um, my dad did not allow me to wear makeup. So what I would do was, um, because in the morning I would walk to school and on the way to school I'd stop at my friend's house and we'd all meet up at one house and then we'd walk to school together. So on the way to school I'd stop by my friend Jamie's house. Hey girl. <laughs> and um, I would get ready at her house and I would put my makeup on. And then I'd wear my makeup all day long. I'd wear eyeliner, mascara, and back then the thing was to wear dark lip liner with chapstick. <laughs> Sound horrible, but that's what was in back then when I was in seventh grade. And um, so my dad, it was horrible. My dad was a bus driver, and sometimes he would drive the bus in front of my school that dropped off right in front of my house. And so <laughs> I know my girl Stella's my girl Stella's laughing right now because she was there when this happened. But um, there was this one time where I had I still had my makeup on and I didn't know my dad was the freaking bus driver that was picking us up in front of the school. And so I had my dark, you know, lip liner on. All of a sudden I see my dad pull up. And I grabbed, you know, the arm part of my sweater and I took all my lip uh, my lipstick off or lip liner off, whatever you want to call it. And there goes my dad opening up the door and I'm walking into the bus and I'm like, oh shit, I still have liner uh, eyeliner on. And I'm like, damn. So my dad got off work and he got home. He was so pissed off. He wanted to take away all my makeup. And, of course, I just gave him some of it. I didn't give him all of it. And, um, so, yeah. I first started wearing makeup in seventh grade. Um, yeah, that was hilarious. My girl Stella is probably, like, laughing her ass off right now. Because, you know, till this day, we still talk about that. It's so funny. Um, so, that was random fact number one. Random fact number two. I hated wearing dresses while I was growing up. Um... I really didn't like wearing a dress until it came to my 8th grade graduation dance. That was the first time I was like actually excited to wear a dress. And um, I might say I look pretty cute. I don't know what I, I don't know if I have that picture or not still. It's probably at my dad's house or something. But um but at my junior high we had to wear uniforms. It was either, you you had to wear a white polo shirt. It had to be a white shirt with a collar on it. And you had the choice of wearing khaki pants or a plaid skirt. And it had to be like dark blue with plaid on it. Or just a solid dark blue skirt. And my dad went uniform shopping without me. And he went and got me a whole bunch of skirts. It was ridiculous. They were so ugly. And he wanted me to wear these. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Like, I don't even like wearing skirts. I don't like wearing dresses. So, <laughs> my dad would be home in the morning. And he would make sure that I would leave with a skirt on. So, like I said before, I'd go to my friend Jamie's house. And, um, you know, I'd get ready at her house. I'd bring an extra pair of pants. And so, before I'd go to school, I'd get changed the pants. There was no way I was going to wear a skirt. Hell no. Uh-uh. I did not like wearing skirts. And so, yeah, I hated wearing dresses. Um, there were a couple times where I had to wear a dress for, like, special occasions. And I would end up crying. Like, majorly crying because I never wanted to wear it. I think I have, like, a picture of me, like, going to, like, my grandma's friend's house for, like, some party. And my eyes are, like, all watery and red because I was crying. I'll, I'll try and find that picture. So yeah, random fact number two, I didn't like wearing dresses until I was in 8th grade. I was a major tomboy. Like, major. 
Jerton way. I played basketball, I rollerbladed with all my guy cousins. Um, we played roller hockey in front of my house, and I wrestled, I did karate, I did judo. So, yeah, I was a major tomboy. So, for me to wear a dress was just major. Um, okay, so that's random fact number two. Random fact number three. I have six piercings. I have, well I don't have both of them in right now, but I have two on each ear. I have my nose pierced and I have my belly button pierced. I used to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I used to have eleven piercings, not twelve. Yeah, I used to have twelve piercings. I used to have my tongue pierced. You could probably see like the little and you probably can't like right there there's like a little hole from where I had my tongue pierced I had my tongue pierced for like a long time but then when I got pregnant with my first son the doctor said I had to take it out so I took it out but it was kind of good that I took it out because then I didn't have stinky ass breath anymore not that I like had you know bad breath all the time but having that tongue ring and if you didn't clean it often or change it often and get a new one like your breath wouldn't have been as good as it should be I want to say so yeah when I took that out like my breath was like super clean like all the time and smelled good all the time I know it's funny but anyway so that was fact number three fact number four I love watching UFC fighting tap out I love watching that stuff um yeah like when me and my husband don't have nothing to do we go on YouTube and sometimes watch fights um, we watch the free fights because we can't afford to watch the fights on pay-per-view. Um, but yeah, UFC fighting is cool. Um, one of my best friends is trying to get into that right now. What's up, Aunt? Um, yeah. So that's, what was that, random fact number, was that four? I think it was four. I don't know. Um, my last fact. Okay, so... Uh, I'm like stuck stupid right now. Role model. My role model who I look up to. Okay, this is going to sound funny because I totally jocked her when Spice Girls came out. I love Spice Girls when they came out. I don't care what anyone says. Spice Girls was the shit back in the day, okay? Um, but Spice Girls was tight. Um, <laughs> but... I used to love Victoria Beckham like back in the day. Even though I was a big tomboy, like I love Sporty Spice. But Posh Spice, Victoria Beckham, like she was just like hot, you know? I thought she was hot back in the day. But um, yeah, I totally look up to her as a role model. If you couldn't tell, I freaking I cut my hair like her. But she's just so hot. She's a mom. She's a wife. She's a successful person. You know, she's got, you know, her music going on. She's got her makeup line going on. Her clothing line going on. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I love her style. I love her personality. Like, if you guys YouTube her and um, if you guys had seen her show, Coming to America, like, she's freaking hilarious, dude. Like, seriously. Um be able to chill with Victoria Beckham that would be tight that'd be so dope um so yeah Victoria Beckham that's who my role model is at the moment isn't she a MILF she's a MILF I think she's a MILF um but yeah so those are five random facts um hope you liked it Kent Caboodle I will tag five people I'm gonna have to go through my YouTubers and see who hasn't got tagged yet because this tag has been going around for a while so I know it's going to be hard for me to find people that haven't been tagged yet so I hope you guys like this video and I hope it lets you guys learn more about me um yeah and I hope you guys like my tutorial check out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tutorial that I did for this look um go ahead comment below leave me a little rating with the stars share my video with your other friends or people that you talk to on YouTube and I'll see you soon. Bye.